Okay, this is game number one in the semifinals between Nemshar and Nogard once again. Spawning in the 9 o'clock position, it is going to be the red Zerg player from Team Carnage. It is Namshar. And his opponent, spawning in the 5 o'clock position, it is going to be the teal Zerg player, Nogard. I did check his, his clan tag and it was Extreme Supremacy is a team that he is fighting for. So just to get things straight... To, error, to correct my wrongs from the last time I casted him versus Cuban. But let's see what these players have to offer. Zerg versus Zerg is a very interesting matchup on this map, I do believe. Just because there are so many high ground and low ground areas. There are so many chokes. And especially if you get to the super late game. And you want to get a concave that is more than one screen wide. It is pretty impossible to do it on a map like this. And we don't see very early aggression coming down from any of these players, so still can go either way. And of course, will we see that the hatchery will come down first? No guard is going to go for it with a nice pentagram on the natural base. And the spawning pool first is going to be the option from Namshar. So... Pretty much the same build. No guard is going to have the advantage of having that, having those queens line up pretty much perfectly. But Namshar will play it a little bit more safe this way. He's going to have a brilliant counter against his opponent in case there was a ten pool. But he's still going to go into the expansion right now, just like No guard is opting to go for that spawning pool. Now even gasless openings are semi-possible on this map. Going for a wall off can be a little bit tricky because the crease spread. Has to move forward quite a bit before you get a nice cre um, before you get a nice wall off area, and otherwise you're going to need a lot of evolution chambers if you want to wall this area off. So let's see where this is going. I would not be surprised to see any any of these two players get their gas guys as soon for the zergling speed. But Namshar already getting his first six zerglings. He did see where his opponent was not. He's not in the top right corner, so he knows where he has to send the zerglings. So let's find out right there. Come on, Zerglings, where are you going? They're going all the way around, making sure that the Overlord does not spot them. That's why they took they take a little bit of a detour. And of course, if there are no Zerglings out for no guard, he can catch them off guard, get a few worker kills for sure. The Zerglings of no guard will spot them. They have to return back home. There is definitely potential for a few worker kills for Namshar right here to get a nice and early advantage. Still, both these players have remained gasless. And if... Well, there's going to be the first worker casualty. Yes, he will get one. And now he's fighting with the drones a little bit. Queen, two queens are in position. Two workers did fall. At least he wants to get three of them. And he does get it. Fourth one will fall. And this has definitely been worthwhile for the Zerglings of Namshar. On top of that, he will get a very nice scout. He will see that there's no gas guys are taken by Nogar just yet. Trying to get another drone kill right there. Not getting it quite yet. And just being as annoying with the Zergling as possible. But he will get it. And also, of course, this was delaying the injects a little bit. And still, they are not going to line up from those two queens. But four workers being killed off. Definitely going to be very nice. Fort Namshir in this early game. He's already five workers up. And there he's producing quite a few more. But no guard has his own drones popping out right now. So he's going to equalize it quite a bit. Double gas guys are being taken by Namshar a little bit. Oh, pretty much at the 6.30 minute mark. And also two gas guys have been taken by no guard. They're already done. But not saturated just yet. So Nemshar takes a little bit of a lead, but nothing is going to be significant in these differences. Supply is still dead even. Nemshar does have his overlords already finished up, while Nogard is still waiting for his to pop out before he can produce more. But it's still looking very normal. Zergling speed has been started by Nemshar. Should now also be started for Nogard in the back of his base where his spawning pool is residing. So it is... As standard as you can get with a no gas opening from a Zerg player. Now the Zerglings of no guard catching one queen off guard a little bit. Oh, trying to get the surround going. 
And the Queen will survive, it looks like. Another Queen will help with the extra DPS. Will he actually save it? That Queen is so low. It will be taken out. Very nice pick off for No Guard for sure. But that was the Creep Spreading Queen. He still has two for the inject, so he's not going to miss too much. But also the Overlord of No Guard, where that Overlord, where that Queen was chasing at, does remain alive. But the third queen once again being rebuilt by Namshar. It is natural base. The Roach Warren is finishing up. And he has gotten double evolution chambers. And he's actually going for the double upgrades right now. now the Roach Warren not quite done for Nogar just yet. It's just a little bit later. And also he's hiding it in the, in the back of his main base. Which means that it cannot really be sniped off by a big Zirkling uh, or a Roach run by. That is pummeling down on his natural base. But it also means it leaves him open for a lot of speedling. Speedling, uh, the Zergling upgrade now done for Namshar. Also now done for Nogar. But there are quite a few Zerglings for Namshar here. But the third base is quite a bit ahead for Nogar. He has that going for him. But still, everything is pretty much equal. Namshar has a little bit more army supply. He's producing 24 more Zerglings at this point. That is very interesting to see. And he really wants to get a denial going. But Nogard has chased this army of Namshar back quite a bit. But now with the reinforcing Zerglings, it is going to be a little bit back and forth. And Nogard will be forced to produce more and more Zerglings. But oh, Namshar is pulling back. I'm a little bit curious why that is. Maybe he's scared of a few Banings moving in while he's going for the Injects back at home. But his own third base is finishing up. Oh, two Queens out in the open. They will get surrounded by the Zerglings. And he can sacrifice a few Zerglings to get the kill on that. And he will get the second queen too, and he gets out of there. A very nice pick off, and still Zerglings at that third base being very annoying. Roaches are slowly starting to pop out, but still Namsha only producing Zerglings. They're going the long way around. He wants to get Nogard out of position before he moves in once again, and get the harassment going on that third base. A few Roaches are here for the defense, nine more on the production tab. But let's see if he can hold on to that third base. The if he moves out, no guard is going to lose that third base. He might even lose a lot of drones if he goes for the if Namshar goes for the run by into that natural base. But there are going to be the Zerglings towards the third base. There are so many Zerglings here. He tries to go for the queen. He's not going to get the queen. The queen is nicely tucked away. But now the roaches have also given the time to return. Oh, the queen actually does go down. He did micro the Zerglings, but he did lose a few Zerglings for that too. And no guard actually taking a 20 supply lead again, being supply blocked. With no overlords on the production tab. Now this can get pretty painful sometimes. But already 2-2 on the way for Namshar. The plus 2 attack upgrade has been started. Roach speed is going to be pretty much the same timing right now. But I don't believe that Namshar has produced any roaches so far. No he has not. He's producing his first roaches right now. While there are already 14 out for no guard. Finally 3 overlords are going to be on the production tab. So he will be able to clean that up. Zergling is going to for go for the run by inside Namshar's base. Does he manage to kill off any workers? Did get three of them. Still a very nice pick off. Again, a nice Zergling run by towards the third base. The Queen is getting caught out of position a little bit, but the Zerglings of Namshar are in position fast enough to get rid of that. Now, the Overseer of Namshar will keep a close eye on off any move out from Nogard. Work account still dead even for both these players. It's just so insane how even this game has gone so far. Now looking at the resource loss tab, it's still only 50 resources apart. Just the Roach advantage is in Nogard's favor. But still, with the positioning, those Zerglings can just go for the counter attack. So those Roaches from Nogard cannot really move out. And again, a pretty big supply block from Nogard too. He's produced fi producing 5 more Roaches. 3 more Overlords are on the way. And Nogard really wants to move out, it looks like. But once he does, he's going to lose that third base. Zerglings are in position to punish that. But he might still try and use that as a decoy while he sets the Roaches to the natural base. But he's keeping them busy. The Zerglings are going to move in. Yes, the army of Nogard is going to be quite a bit bigger. But the workers are going to fall. Namshar will use that time to get in position against Nogard. Really testing the multitasking capabilities of Nogard. Now 2-2 is nearing completion for both these players. Namshar has produced a lot of roach behind this now too. He has taken a supply blo block, uh, another supply lead. Because Nogard once again supply block. He's producing 7 overlords right now. So he's going to be done with it for quite some time. But this is still very painful. He's pretty high on those minerals and working on those supply blocks. Look at that. He is 
done with the supply blocks and immediately his ga his money can go down but still he's a little bit behind oh Zerlin's getting caught out of position but that means that a lot of roaches are out of position too for no guard and those roaches are quite a bit more valuable than the Zerlings of Namshar right there but the roaches of Namshar are going to move forward the upgrades aren't going to be equal in just a few seconds when the plus two carapace upgrades is finishing up looking at the unit stab we have 53 against 55 roaches and the positioning from Nogar is just going to be better. Namshar is going to move up that ramp. Trying to get into position on top of that ramp. Oh, but the rally point. So many roads are going to get sacrificed just because of that rally point right there. He has to return back home. That was very painful for him. Looking at the resource lost that Suddenly, Nogar is in a pretty good position. We're fighting on the top, on the bottom of this ramp where Nogar wants to move down. That is going to be beneficial for Namshar. But still so many roads here. Namshar lost so many before this engagement and will he be able to hold this off? Looking once again at the Roach count, 40, 38 against 30. He has the advantage but Namshar will have the close reinforcements and they will come streaming in right there. Nogar taking a little bit of a supply lead because he did take that favorable engagement and Zerni is going to go for the run by towards the third base if the economy of Namshar is going to be tackled behind this. He's going to be in a very bad spot right there. And actually the Zerglings do get a little bit of damage going. Roach are popping out. So the Zerglings are focusing on that of course. A higher attack priority right there. But the battle continues. And this is one of the longest battles that I have seen. The reinforcements are just streaming through. More and more Zerglings joining the fun right there. But Nogard seems to take a bigger and bigger advantage. And Namshar has to retreat towards his natural base. But while that is going on, his third base will take a beating because of it. Burrow is done. Also, Burrow movement is going to be done. But there, oh, there are overseers here. No Burrow for uh, for no guard, it looks like. But he is in a very good position. Oh, he's evening up the scores. He's evening up the supply. But will that be enough? Roaches are being repelled right there. But Roaches and Zerglings going into that natural base. Some Roaches are here for the defense. And Zerglings really don't work that well without attack upgrades against plus two Carapace Roaches. So the Zerglings going to be pretty much useless. Also the burrowing from those Roaches is going to regenerate their health quite quickly. That is an advantage that Nogar does not have. So Namchar actually with those engagements, with the burrow micro going down a little bit. He has taken another supply lead right there. Albeit very small and he really needs to pull back those those roads. One of them will get taken out in no time. But it looks like Namshar will stabilize. Work account still four in favor of Namshar. He has produced a few more behind this. And he did go into investors. Yep. The pathogen glands upgrade is currently being researched. And after 30 seconds you can of course start your, uh, your unit production of investors. Also he catches a few of those roads from Nogard out of position. Looking very good for him. And Namshar is really looking to get back into this game. Roaches and only roaches are being produced from Nogar. It looks like he wants to go into up to a fourth base. But the fourth base is already constructing for Namshar. Overseer keeping a close eye on things. Delaying the injects just a little bit right there. But do we see any transition from Nogar? In his natural base nothing is going on. Also in his main base he's still on layer tech. His main base pretty much mined out right there. But no infestation pit or any other tech. No hydralis den or anything. Now Burrow Droaches of Namshar are going to go towards that fourth base location. It looks like he might try and get a cancel on that. But that is still a big if because the army of Nogard is, in, is still going to be very close. He's just biding his time. There's a spore crawler in this base. So that's not going to go. Not going to happen. But Namshar is reaching that max out point once again. Did he produce any of those infestors just yet? Yes, he has six infestors on the map already with passaging plans being done. Roach going into that natural base, trying to go for a few worker kills. Worker kills still going to be pretty important right there. But the Roaches will be killed off. And the Burrow is actually really cute from Namshar, but still. No detection inside the main base. Interrupting those injects can be very painful, very annoying to deal with, but those queens are very high on energy, so he can go and afford quite a few transfuses. And also this forces Nogar to keep a few of those units back at home. Now Namshar is also getting his Hydralis then, something that Nogar now already has in his main base. So let's see, those investors are still going to be very important in the next game. He's keeping them back at home, they're just banking up that energy, and if he wants to go for a big engagement, 
that is going to help him out significantly. But he is going for it at the third base. Not the entire army of Nogar is here. And that is going to be very painful. Namshar getting a much better engagement at the beginning of this fight. And all of the roads of Namshar in position. Nogar is now going to come here with the rest of his army. And still a few workers did go down. Nogard is at 49 workers at this, mo at this point. But he has the stronger army. Now roaches of Namshar are just everywhere. There's still one burrow roach inside that natural base. But he has to return back home. Hydrolisks are going to be remaxed. Finally, we do see that the Burrow Tunneling Claws upgrade for No Guard is being researched. Did he already get that Burrow upgrade? I cannot actually see it right there. He does not have it. He did not even start it, which is very weird. You don't have any use for that Tunneling Claws unless you have Burrow upgraded beneath that. Because the Roaches can move underground, but they cannot get underground. That is kind of the problem. But the fourth base is now up and running. Both these players are maxed out. The Hive is being researched for Namshar. So he's really been trying to tech up a little bit more aggressive than his opponent, Nogard. And looking at the resource loss, it has equalized quite a bit. Namshar still behind in that regard, but not the biggest of differences. Now also the upgrades, Numatized Carapace for both these players. Done. Oh, those Hydalis, they are too slow for those speed roaches. And a lot of them will get caught off guard. Namshar has to get into a good position. He's trying to stutter step, but he cannot really do that with the Hydalisk. And a lot of Hydalisk, they are so insanely expensive. Oh, and those roach is still going to be very difficult. Fungals on top of that ramp is go are going to be so insanely painful. But they are maxed out on energy. And of course, Zergs do not have something like a feedback to get rid of those infestors. They have to use the energy or they have to die off to get rid of that fungal energy. But a lot of Overseers over this army. Oh, great fungals landing on a lot of those roaches. But they are going for the infested. The infested burrowing away. And they can move underground, of course. A lot of those Zerg, uh, Zerg units of Nogard in the orange. Namshar is taking a very nice supply lead. But those Hylas from the back doing also so much damage. All the Overseers have been taken out. And all of those Hylas also still alive. And this was a pretty convincing win from Namshar with the, with the initial fungals from the infestors. He tried to... Nogar tried to catch Namshar out of position, off guard, but that did not happen. And once again, we see the burrow come down on top of those roaches to regenerate their health. It just heals so insanely quickly. And again, a three roach hit squad going towards a fourth base. Of course, three roaches will one-shot any drone, of course. And now 3-3 on the way for Namshar. He is in no hurry to make something happen because he has attack advantage. Still no infestation pit for Nogard. And he seems to be stuck in this Roach Hydra composition. Now Namshar is moving forward once again. There's still plenty of energy on those infestors. But will he be able to hold this next attack off? Namshar currently has a 50 supply lead. Finally the infestation pit on the way for Nogard. And this position can be pretty good for Nogard. He can create a pretty good concave. But the Hydalus from the back just have so much damage output. And the Fungals are just nailing those units from Nogard in place. There's going to be the GG Namshar taking game number one.